It was our time. It appears Virginia lawmakers are poised to remove plans for a new Capitals and Wizards arena from the state budget. Overnight, State Senator Louise Lucas confirmed that she will block the move in a post on X. Our Jacqueline Quinn joining us now in the studio. Jacqueline, she made her message clear. I guess the question now is how dead is this deal right now? Yeah, so if you read that post, it's this dead. It's dead in the ground and buried. Uh, she posted this on her X account. It's a meme broadcasting this point, right? Uh, that you are not going to see this in the budget. She posted this just seven hours ago. So this comes before negotiators today and the state are supposed to release the latest language of the budget. And she spoke to our partners at the Washington Post confirming she will block plans for the relocation of the teams again in this budget. Now she said before it's not a good deal for the Commonwealth. Backers of the plan call for a $2 billion development partly financed by public money and Alexandria and our past reporting from WSA 9's Eric Flack. The governor has proposed to give money to lower the tolls in the senator uh, senator's district, but that did not move the needle. As for the plan, this was announced back in December as a non binding agreement between the governor and Ted Leone says the owner of the Wizards and Capitals and head of the monumental sports group. So it could all come down to this house budget. Meanwhile, last night there was a pop up Q&A from the city of Alexandria. Sarah Bagley and Alexandria City Council members spoke to us after. We're going to keep talking about it. We're going to keep engaging because if it moves forward, we want to have as many conversations as we can before any decision is made. Hear about the senator a lot. How does she have this much blocking power? Well, she chairs the powerful Senate Finance and Appropriations Committee, so she can move things out of the budget. But the General Assembly session wraps up Saturday, and there are two things to keep in mind. Governor Youngkin can still call a special, special legislative session or more likely introduce the arena plan as a budget amendment. Annie. All right, Jacqueline, it's still so far from being over. Thank you.